All right, we're gonna head out. Uh, today's day four. <clears throat> uh, today's target is the high hut. Uh, it's about eight miles away, but uh, uh, my wife and daughters are meeting us at the seven mile mark, um, doing some trail magic for everybody on the trail. So that'll be fun, kind of cool to see them. And we'll be able to resupply and whatnot. Uh, we're feeling pretty good. Uh, we do have some uphills today, so you know, slow and steady wins the, wins the race there. But uh, we'll check in uh, in a couple hours after we put in some miles. So this is neat. Um, one of the guys we stayed with last night, Bling, uh, said he was close to 900 miles. And when he hit 900, he was going to leave a little sign. Uh, so he made a little 900 exclamation point out of rocks. Uh, so kind of cool, um, just what people do along the trail. All right, it's our first break. Uh, we crushed out four miles. Uh, it was started up with a, a decent uphill, a little downhill, then a huge uphill. So we're at the top of the mountain now, and uh, it was getting some water. We needed a break. Uh, we're both sweaty messes, uh, but feeling really, really good about today. Uh, we have 3.3 miles to uh, the parking lot where we're meeting my wife and daughters for the trail magic stuff and the station they're setting up, and then we have a mile after that to the shelter. So hopefully, we're, we're thinking a good recovery day so that we can uh, we can crush tomorrow and the rest of this thing. Uh, you know, maybe we're starting to get some trail legs uh, is what we're kind of hoping. And, uh, yeah, just uh, feeling good about today. So um, we'll check in again once we, uh, once we get to the trail magic. All right, so I forgot to take a video of the uh, trail magic. Uh, I got too excited, I guess. Um, so uh, I tried to show a picture and uh, hopefully that, that worked out. Uh, we are at the high mountain hut uh, where we're gonna camp. We're gonna tent camp. This is our site here. Um, I'll try to get a video of the hut after we get kind of unpacked uh, and whatnot. So we're gonna set it up and uh, go from there. Yeah, today we're gonna set up our seafood design in there, a little tent. Uh, pretty compact tent, great for backpacking. It's about half inches, so we're gonna be using this here. And it, uh, it's great, it's nice for black and white. Screen. You go up and 
there's a D-pad right here. Put that in. Put it out there. And then same thing, grab a stake. Take it out. Go to about level. Kind of give that a pull. Make sure you're out all the way. And then you'll get this all straightened out once we get the tension in there. Slide it out quick, isn't it? Yeah, real rocky area. Don't really do so much up. Try to string wrap around that. So, yeah. Just that real quick. There we go. There we go. That's what that was pulled on. Then we need to grab a little further now. And that's all right. And then to add tension, you give this one a pull. And we'll add tension to it. It's probably a little too much. And it's not the yard of adjusting everything. Side, so this side's gonna need more tension so when you rock, pull that up. And you straighten everything out, get a little tension. This does pull back over it to make it waterproof. And you go around your four corners and you start adding tension there. Until it feels nice and tight. But don't make it super duper tight, but you start to add a little by feel. You see how it's starting to straighten out. You want to know how to make it so I guess where your pulls are. Everything's looking good. Um, let me set over here. That's kind of pulling. So I'll put a rock on top of that. Um, and then these here do roll up. So roll that up. Put it in the little loop here. And then you can access it on the night. You can also do the screen. Uh, I don't think I ever have to like, keep the bugs out. But oh, same thing on the other side. You can do the same thing. So that is the basics of putting out the uh, system design. Right here, do a little tent. So this is a uh, typical privy on the AT. Shenandoah National Park is kind of nice. That every shelter seems to have one. Um, some holdering privy which means everything goes down here and let's walk up and show you what it is so you usually have these locks you open it up it smells horrible so there's a toilet and this is usually full of wood chips uh, that you then put in here and it mixes with all the stuff in there and uh, breaks it down um, and then uh, they spread it out uh, on the forest floor after the um, bugs and stuff do all everything they're supposed to do. This kind of goes over um, that, that functioning. So, typical bathroom. Um, if they don't have one of these, you grab a shovel, dig a hole about eight inches deep, and uh, do your business and you know, fill it back in. So, pretty exciting, but uh, that is a privy on the AT.